Hey everybody, I'm Lisa. And I'm still Thor. The thank birthday you. boy. Yep, thank you for tuning in. Cheers. Cheers, yep. Um, Thor let me have beer today. Yeah, well, it's my it's birthday. It's a special so, day. Yeah. Actually, this is really good. It's a lager, right? Right, the lager. Yeah, first one I made. Turned out pretty good, easy drinking. It's a lager, so. And the sad thing is, I can't tease him about his beer because every beer I've had, well, almost every beer I've had has been really surprisingly good yeah and I mean, if you don't like it it still works yeah so. i mean it's really good so cheers cheers to you happy birthday thank you and uh, thank you guys for following that link here to cigarpress.com um as promised we'll just jump right into the cigars um that we kind of teased you about there but couldn't mention on facebook so uh well first one here is the davidoff maybe see your vanna white skills Whoop. anyway it's the uh pure to oral pre-release davidoff not pre-release, I'm sorry, original release. Um, and this guy here is obviously probably doesn't need any explanation. It's a BBMF Opus X. I can't even tell you how long I've had that one. So I can't believe you went deep into the, the yeah, archive. I really Ooh. do hoard cigars, Opus for some of them. Here's a Tatawahe, the, the Halloween um, event cigar, I think is what we got this at, the three pack. You can only get at events. And I've had that one for quite a few years too. Now this, I believe, is an original release, Liga Pravada number nine Toro. Double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what we got going on there. And now I'm a big fan of all these companies and their, their products, obviously, but La Aurora especially, you know, very unique. And this is the Puro Vintage, which year 2003. So yeah, that's a nice cigar right there. Unique shapes, you know, you don't see a lot of those being made, but. Now here you have 724. This one might actually be missing. This is like one of my favorite <laughs> sizes. So that this one, one too, might be missing. <laughs> and that one too is an original original release um, 724 Lancero. Yeah. Yeah, that's in the cedar wrap there. So That's a beauty. Yeah. Well, they're all beauties, but I... I'm sure I all these cigars the, are still... I love the Lancero. Now this was Julius Caesar uh, pre-release. They had sent some media guys and I still had a pack and a few left. And so that's what this guy is here. A few years old now, I believe. And uh, this cigar is great. It's made by my father's cigars. It's an, uh, Nestor Miranda uh, Dano, I believe. That one hurts. I love that cigar. I think I still have a few left with the Maduro and, and other wrapper. And uh, now finally, this is the last one, I think. This is a cigar that I just have for myself. Um, it's pretty good. It's full strength, full flavored. Um, really don't want to say too much about it, but um, that's... It's tasty, great aroma. That's it. So these are good cigars here. I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed. I mean, that's quite a nice little selection. All of them are aged uh, fairly well. Now that's well. one prize. One prize, that's it. So if you win, you get... Actually, you know what? We could do two prizes. I have... Grab that other bag right there. I found something when I was digging around. I'll trade you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I found this downstairs. Now you can tell how old it is. It has... When it was still humidipack, it has that in there. Still pliable too, by the way. It's unbelievable. But I've had this bag, I mean, at least a, a decade or more. And I'm not really sure what the cigar is in there. So, maybe we could throw one of those in there as a secondary prize. And you guys can tell us what you think. Maybe where it came from or what the tobaccos are. And we'll do some research and see if we can find out what it is. So, that'll be the second prize. So, so a little consolation happens, prize. That's what happens with old age. You put something in there when you're young and you think, oh, I won't forget what this right? is. Welcome to 40. Well, um, and you know what? <laughs> I want to do things a little different this time. When we're going to draw the winners, the winner will be done on the 10th pick. So the first drawing won't be the winner. We're going to draw 10 names, and that 10th winner oh, wow. is going to be the winner. Okay. 10th tenth, tenth And how name. do they enter? That's a good question. Well, why don't you guys comment on that Facebook link that brought you here, our original Facebook post. Yes. Um, yeah, make share, sure it's the original. Share a cigar memory and post a picture of you smoking a cigar with some friends. I'd like a picture. A picture be cool. would be good. All right. Yeah. I'd like a picture. Yeah. And that's, so that's one way to enter. And uh, if you guys haven't been through the website yet, rate one cigar. That'll be your second chance Yes. to enter and win. Um, and so what is today? It's Friday, May 1st, actually. Yeah. You know this one. Um, and so we'll do it, what, one week? Seventh or eighth? Thursday or Friday? Let's do it Thursday. Thursday, that's the seventh. All right. Right? Yes. And the tenth winner will be the nine pack. The eleventh winner will be. No, I tell you what, we'll draw the consolation prize on the first drawing. So the first one will get the mystery cigar that's well over a decade old. Okay. And then the grand prize, if you will, will be the nine pack of cigars. Should I write all this down? 
No, we got it on record. <laughs> so the 10th winner, that way, you know, a little suspense. Yeah. Yeah, so um, good luck. Those yes. are the rules, noon central time, next Thursday. And as always, we'll need an ID to show that you're of age to accept these cigars. I think that's it.